Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and this really is not the video that I had planned, but I really wanted to get this out quickly because of the time sensitivity, and more importantly, all the questions I've been getting on this topic. I've recently upgraded my firmware on my X1 Carbon, but I've been getting a lot of questions through emails and direct messages of how do you downgrade it once you've upgraded it because of fear of certain slicers not working. And that's what I'm going to do today is I am going to show you how to downgrade your firmware on your X1C. And also to be just fully transparent here, I have never done this. So I, I don't know fully how to do it, but I thought it would be interesting if we just kind of do an over the shoulder style vlog video kind of thing and figure it out together. So kind of bear with when it comes to this because this is a down and dirty so I can hurry up and get this video for you. And honestly, I think I also need to just kind of touch on this whole bamboo firmware controversy because I know there is a lot of drama surrounding this whole thing, this bamboo lab stuff. And I'm honestly just trying to remain neutral and objective because I can easily see all of the arguments all the sides and every single side of this argument, I'm not gonna lie, I can see its merits. So my goal is really just to help the average user understand how to use their 3D printers. Now, I talk to a lot of people and I feel like I have a pretty decent understanding of the average user really just wants their printer to work. They don't care about all of this stuff. So I'm honestly just wanting to do this video and show you and we'll see how easy this really is to be able to downgrade your firmware or honestly how hard it is too. It, it can go either way. So this video is really all about that. And I am not here to be bashing any company. I am not here to bash any specific slicers or promote them or anything like that. The only goal here is we need to downgrade some firmware. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to jump the camera a little closer to the screen here. And we're going to figure out how to downgrade the firmware. So here we go. So I've got my screen here. I know my firmware is in the settings. I do believe it's general. Uh, yeah, general firmware right here. So we've got that. It can show that I'm on 1.08.05.00. Okay, so we can see that. That's the most current. And I'm trying to see what's tappable. Um, tap to view more version information. And it looks like it wants us to go to handy. Okay, so I'm going to get my phone out and let's try this thing out. So let me zoom this thing back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan this QR code and it looks like, yeah, it's just taking me to the Bamboo Wiki. So this is just the release notes. Yeah, this is not how to upgrade it. So let's go ahead and go into Bamboo Handy and I'm going to go ahead and throw this up on the screen. I'm, going to, I'm recording my screen just so you can see it easier. I realize you can't really see this that well right here. Um, now I'm going to go to devices. Then I can see here all. So if I go to the little hamburger icon in the top right and then firmware version. So I can see the firmware and all the updates. Okay, that's this has been difficult with one hand. I've got my mic on the other one. Uh, right there. Right there at the bottom. Here, let's put that on the screen. Right there at the bottom, I want to downgrade to a previous version. And there we go. Um, previous version 1. Oh, yeah, I can select which version I want to... Three versions ago. So it looks like you can only go back three versions. I would be curious if you can... How you go back far, farther than that. But let's go back to the one version. So I'm going to say install this version. 
Then it gives me this prompt. Are you sure you want to downgrade to this previous version? I'm going to say, yep. Confirm that. And it's installing. And look at that already. There it is. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to let this go. And let's see what this does. All right, I'm going to fast forward this. Let's speed through time. All right, so it hit 100%, and now it's just restarting. Which is the funny thing is, is on the app it says it's still at 97% to install, but not on the screen. Oh, wait, nope, it came back to 97%, so it's not fully done. Now it's updating, it says. All right, and there we go. So if we, so if we uh, zoom in here, we can see that it says firmware has been updated to version 1.08.02.00. And all we have to do is hit confirm, and there we go. So now that we have downgraded the firmware into the previous version, there is this little red dot, and I was aware of this because I knew this was going to happen because I've heard of other people saying this. And basically, you have in your settings, you're going to have this red dot because there is a firmware that needs updating. So it will sometimes throw you up a warning, and every single time you restart, you're going to have to say you don't want it. So you can update it right here, or you can just ignore it, and there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and just approve this. I think I'm going to restart the machine. There we go. Turned it off. Now give it a few seconds. And I'll turn it back on. And let's see if it does it. Because I'm pretty sure it should give me a warning. Because I know when I haven't upgraded my firmware, it always gives me a warning when I turn it on. Okay, so we've got that. It is restarted. Let's just click around a little. There we go. I'm just clicking around and it automatically gave me this. So a new firmware has been detected. Would you like to go to the update page? And I don't want to. I want to ignore this. So you just hit no and there you go. All right. Okay, so now I have the X1C downgraded to the previous firmware version, and everything seems to be working just fine. Now, I, I will say I am honestly a little disappointed that you cannot downgrade from the screen. I mean, they made this beautiful interface, and I can't go into the settings here and downgrade from here, and I have to use my phone instead? Like, why? Like, this interface is beautiful, and it works so nicely. It just, it seems like they fell a little short there, and I think it should be there. But that's that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think. I just don't like that I have to use my phone, because it, it's kind of annoying when you've already got a really nice interface. If it's for the P1S, I get that, because that interface sucks. Now, I know the next question is... All right, now that you've got it downgraded, will Orca Slicer work with this? And I, I'm just going to be honest and fully transparent with you. I have no idea. I did not check. And I'm honestly not going to check. Because I don't use Orca Slicer with my bamboo printers. I use Orca Slicer for all of my other printers. And I kind of like having them separate. I don't know why, but I really like doing that. I like to use Orca Slicer for all of the other ones because it, they just, it works beautifully with those printers. And when Bamboo Studio already works beautifully with these printers, I just, I'm fine with it. I know there are other people out there that want one slicer for everything, and I get that. And I, I totally get it, and I would just say, you do you. So I will say, just for all the comments and things that I've given, just be nice to me in the comments. Uh, I realize everybody has their own opinions, and I, I, I honestly, I see all of the different facets and sides of those opinions, and they all have their merit. 
But that's pretty much it. And I will say, if you guys do figure out the whole Orca Slicer thing with the downgraded uh, firmware, let me know in the comments. And if somebody can give me a really good explanation, I'll pin that comment and put it to the top so everybody can know that, yes, it does work or no, it's not working. Uh, just kind of let me know, guys. But I appreciate that. And that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's been a little different than normal, but uh, thanks for sticking around. I wish you a great day, and I'll go ahead and I'll see you in this video right over here for you.